Hi, this is Barbara Rademacher, and we're now going to do a, a wire problem. These are pretty traditional in algebra. An electrician cuts a 16-foot piece of wire into two pieces. One piece is five feet longer than the other. How long are the pieces? Now when you stop to think of it, this problem is almost like the Senate problem we did in the previous video. Okay, story problems like this are better solved with drawings. We're being told that a real physical thing is being cut into two pieces. One piece is longer and one piece is shorter. So I've tried to m make a picture of the situation. The, uh, the black line represents the 16-foot wire and the colored lines represent the shorter and the longer piece that this 16-foot wire is cut into. You can see that if we were to stick this piece and this piece back together, they would be 16 feet long. Okay, so now we're going to break down the information. The wire is 16 feet long before it's cut. One piece is five feet longer than the other. You have to now know how long the other piece is. Uh, then you add the five feet to it to get the longer piece. So the most basic thing that we don't know in this problem is how long the shorter piece is because the longer piece is five feet longer than the shorter piece. We've got to know the shorter piece. I have no idea how long the shorter piece is, so I call it x. I'm going to let x equal the length of the shorter piece in feet. Then, if, if the shorter piece is x feet long, the longer piece is going to be x plus 5 feet long. Well, the length of the shorter piece and the length of the longer piece are going to add up to 16 feet. So we have a basic equation here, shorter plus longer equals 16. Well, shorter is x and longer is x plus 5. If we add those together, we'll get 16. So now all I have to do is add my like terms. I'm going to have 2x because x plus x is 2 times x plus 5 equals 16. I'm going to add negative 5 to both sides of the equation so I can get 2x by itself. Now I'll have 2x equals 16 plus negative 5 is 11. Now I have 2 times x equals 11 to get rid of that 2 so I can get x by itself. Since 2 is multiplied by x, I have to do the opposite of multiplication, which is division. Divide by 2, divide by 2, 2 over 2 is 1, so I'll have 1x, or just x, equals 11 over 2. Now, come back up here for a minute, and be sure to read the blue type under uh, where you're supposed to answer the question. That's, that's going to be there in almost all of my math lab problems. Be sure to read this because it will tell you how to answer. They want, the people who wrote this want either an integer, which is a, either a positive or negative whole number, or a decimal. They don't want a fraction. So I would be counted wrong if I were to answer 11 over 2 feet. Well, that means I need to find out what 11 over 2 is. So I go over to the calculator and I hit enter again, uh, on again rather. I say 11 divided by 2, enter, and the answer is going to be 5.5. .5. So I'll put 5.5 .5 in the answer box. There you go, 5.5 .5 feet is the length of the shorter piece and we're not being asked the length of the longer piece. But what if we were asked the length of the longer piece? What if somebody wanted to know? 
Well, if this piece is 5.5 feet long, then this piece is going to be 5.5 plus what is it? Five feet long, right? The other piece is five feet longer. Five plus 5.5 is 10.5. So this piece is going to be 10.5. Now, 10.5. Oh, oh, darn. All right, 10.5 plus 5.5. 5 plus 5 is 10. Carry the 1. 1 plus 5 is 6. Bring down the 1. Yes, this works. We've got the correct answer. All right, let's do a perimeter triangle problem. Oh, no, it's not. It's going to be an angle problem. The sum of the measures of the angles of any triangle are, is 180 degrees. That is, when you add up angle A and angle B and angle C, the angles, which are here, here, and here, when you add up all those degrees, you get 180 degrees. It's just a law. I mean, it always happens. In triangle ABC, this one, the angles A and B have the same measure. That is, this and this are equal. The number of degrees here and the number of degrees here are equal. So let's call them x degrees. Now, the measure of angle C is 33 degrees larger than each of A and B. That means that since A and B are each x degrees, this is going to be x plus 33. Is that 33? Yes, degrees. Now, what do we know? We're being asked, what are the measures of the three angles? And even though we only have a box for A here, since this is asking for the three angles, the measures of the three angles, I'm going to give all three angles. So I'm going to set this problem up as follows. I know that A plus B, angle A plus angle B plus angle C equal 180 degrees. Now I'm going to substitute the values I wrote in here. Angle X is 8 degrees, angle B is X degrees, and angle C is X plus 33 degrees, and they add up to 180 degrees. See, all you have to do is read through the problem step by step, and you can get this information. Now, x plus x plus x is 3x, so I'll have 3x plus 33 equals 180. I'll, I'll add negative 33 to both sides, which is the same as subtracting 33. That'll leave me with 3x here because 33 plus negative 33 is 0. Meanwhile, 180 minus 33, you can use your calculator if you want. Or, let's see, 10 minus 3 is 7. And then 17 minus 3 is 14. So we're going to have 147. So now my equation reads 3 times x equals 147. Since 3 is multiplied by x, in order to get x by itself, I divide by that number, the number in front of x. That'll leave me with a 1x over here, and we don't write the 1 when it's in front of the x. And I'll have 147 divided by 3. Oh, let's do some long division. What the heck? One. 47. 3 into 147 is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. 14 minus 12 is 2. Bring down the 7. 3 into 27 is 9. 9 times 3 is 27. And we get a 0 remainder. So now I know that x equals 49, which means that angle A is 49 degrees. Angle B 
is 49 degrees. Angle C is going to be 49 plus 33 degrees, which is going to be 9 plus 3 is 12, carry the 1, 82 degrees. Now let's, oh, 82 degrees. Now let's check and make sure that I didn't make an arithmetic mistake. 49 plus 49 plus 82. Let's see. 9 plus 9 is 18, plus 2 is 20. Write down the 0, carry the 2. 2 times 4 is 6, plus 4 is 10, plus 8 is 18. Yes, that works. So my angle A is 49 degrees, but I'm fairly certain that after you answered 49 degrees in my math lab, then it's going to come up with, well, what is angle B? You would say 49 degrees. What is angle C? You would say 82 degrees. Let's see if we have time for one more. Oh, yes, we do. This is a formula problem. And the formula we're dealing with is P equals 2L plus 2W. That's the formula for perimeter, which is like the fence around an outside, the outside of a rectangle. We're being told here what L equals and what W equals, so all I'm going to do is substitute. P is going to equal 2 times 100 plus 2 times 144. Really, the width should not be longer than the length, but don't tell anybody, okay? Now, let's, let's take an easy route here and go in the calculator. I want to show you how you can just write what you have here in here, complete with parentheses. So let's say 2 left parenthesis 100, parenthesis closed, plus 2 parenthesis 144 parenthesis closed enter and your answer is 488 now what does that mean that mean oh and is this feet or does it not say it just doesn't say okay what this is saying is if you have a rectangle And as weird as that is, I mean, the width is always the shorter side. But a little boo-boo there, okay? I'm just going to write down what it says. All right, if your length is 100 and your width is 144, and your length is 100, and your width is 144, and you want to buy a piece of fence, for maybe this is a garden and it's 100 feet by 144 feet. You want to uh, fence it in. So you go to Lowe's or some other store and you buy fence, but you have to add up these four sides before you can tell Lowe's how many feet of fencing you want. That's what perimeter is. It's a fence. And you can remember that by P, it looks kind of like F. If you, if you were to use whiteout on this part of it right there, you'd be left with that part and that part. So P and F are actually very closely related. Talk to you later.